Hi Pisces, this is Genevieve with Belly Down and Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm doing really well. This is a weekly reading for May 3rd through May 10th, 2021. And I've had a great weekend. I've taken a course on becoming, well, I have become an Akashic Records reader. The Akashic Records are, it's like a record of your soul. From throughout all of its incarnation, some of the time in the spirit world, but it's about your time here. But it's about past lives, relationships with other people. It's really awesome. And it's usually empowering and healing. And I'm so excited because one of the things I really want to do is help people to heal. And shadow work is so important, but also learning why we're doing what we're doing so that we can move forward and no longer be held back by those ties. So, first of all, you have a great reading. The first card I get for you is the world. This is like my favorite card ever because it says it's all gonna work out. It's all gonna be fine. It's gonna come together and the world is, universe has your back. Because it's reversed, there's still some more time to go. I think you're going to start seeing little bits of it this week, but it's not going to be the whole thing. It's like a little sliver of the pie, but you're not seeing the whole pie. You're also getting the happy home card. So turn this over. This is all about having a happy home. See, these people are going to their home and they're like, yay. So this could mean that you're getting ready to have a happier home. Maybe you're moving. But it's definitely saying that things are going to work out and your home life is going to improve. We also get the strength card. Turn it over. This card tells me that there's some trials to go. Maybe not a lot. And you have the strength to overcome them. You can make it through. Because see, this person's got infinity. So that means they can do it. And back here, there's some mountains but he's got the lion's mouth open. He's like, I got this dude. And so do you. You have this. You can do it. You're starting to see your, your ships come in. And this card tells me that you're probably going to take a small trip this week. Because he's looking at the world. It could also just be that you're starting to plan a trip. But if you do take a trip, it's going to be a small one. I mean, really small. Like, I don't know, an hour, maybe two. But it could be longer, but I, I don't think that it's going to be a lot. But you're definitely going to, there's definitely some potential for travel, whether it's coming now or you're planning it. Now we have a card, it's reverse, about decisions. He's got, things are coming to an end and he's going to make a decision where he's going from here. So what do you want to do? How do you want this to look He's got to find his way out of these decisions. And it's been hard. But it's also getting ready to be a time to celebrate. Turn it over. It's not here yet. This is all about like having champagne with your buds, hanging out. And it's all going to be fine. You're like, yay, 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 yay. So, but you're moving into that. It's not here yet. It's going to happen. Now I'm going to pull a couple of cards from Oracle decks. I'm not going to go into which ones or whatever. So if you want to know, just send me a text and I'll let you know. Ceremony, invocation. This card, ceremony, is getting in touch with your spiritual side. C ceremony can be literally a ceremony like going to one, going to church, or going to a sweat lodge, or going to a drum circle. Ceremony is different things to different people. What is ceremony to you? But you need to find that this week. It can be literally meditating, or taking a walk in the national forest and seeing the trees and the stars. Ceremony is different to everyone. And you get career. 
this is a time to be looking at your career. Is this the career for you? Is there a different career for you? Are you stuck in a rut about your career? Okay, now I'm going to pull a card for just for relationships. And it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, just relationships in your life. Innocence. And this says you would take time to play. So in your relationships, maybe they've become too serious and you've forgotten how to play. You've forgotten how to have that childlike joy. So go ahead and take the time to get in touch with that. Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.